Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm continuing my series of how to play off meta. And today we're doing Braum Top. Now, Braum is usually seen as a support. Basically, that's it. But Braum Top is actually another option. So, how would you play Braum Top? Well, first thing, runes. These are the runes I'd go with because I believe you have to play Braum Top kind of like you would play Garen Top as a tanky fighter. I've tried to play him as other roles, but I think the tanky fighter really just works the best for him. Items. Well, Titanic Hydra is the only item I would say that is really key. I can't even tell you exactly which mythic item you get except tanky fighter. So basically, look for health and attack. But I think you should actually get Titanic Hydra first and then get your mythic. Why? Because Braum is good top, but he's bad at CS. He's actually not that good at, you know, last hitting minions, in my opinion, and stuff like that. So Titanic Hydra really helps with that. You can get so much minions by just attacking and getting the minions behind them, you know? It just really works. So I really think you need that splash damage very early because you need to get those minions so you can get that gold so you can keep up with whoever you're top laning against. Now for your mythic, like I said, just basically tanky fighter. You could get like Divine Sunderer, Stride Breaker, or even Trinity Force because just think tanky fighter, health and attack damage. The rest really is up to you and whatever situation you're in. Now, before I get into playstyle, let me just say, I would not use top, top Braum against any ranged characters. Yes, I've beaten a ranged character with him before, but I really don't recommend it. Also, I wouldn't recommend playing him against Trindamir. But other than those, I think any melee character you can pit Braum against. And you have to kind of play passive-aggressive. Once again, base it off the situation. My advice would be, if they come after you, go after them. And you can poke, but... I really think when you go in, you got to go in. Because remember, Braum has the four attacks, and then they get stunned. And not only that, after they're done being stunned, your attacks actually do more damage against them. So I really think that once you go in, go in. Or keep attacking until they're stunned, then back away with your E. In fact, I would recommend really maximizing your Q and then focusing on your E. Obviously getting your R when you can. But the W, since you're top only really helps you in certain circumstances like maybe you can use it to sometimes run away when like your minions are behind you and you're running from the top champ or something like that and you can sometimes use that to jump in since it gives you more magic resist and armor so if you like jump in it may help you in the fight as well but really i think you should focus more on your q and your e in fact your e can even be used to seemingly block some abilities of heroes like with darius which is the only hero i think that braum semi counters it seems like the E actually blocks the swing of the axe if you time it right. If you wait till Darius is about to swing his axe and then use your E, it seems like it almost makes the swing null and void. So let's summarize. One, runes. Tanky fighter. The runes I showed you are the ones I use, but you can mess around them if you want. Basically just think tanky fighter though. Two, items. Titanic Hydra is really the only key item that I would say that Braum really needs. Number three, play passive aggressive. You, you gotta base it off the situation, but I would say they come after you, go after them, or at least hit them until they're stunned, then run away. And definitely take advantage of your E too. I'm pretty sure that lessens some of their blows. In any case, what do you guys think about Top Braum? Is this something you'd like to try? Do you guys agree with my runes? Agree with my playstyle? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.